Haitian woman lies tangled, cut and bleeding in razor wire. She and thousands of other storm survivors have been fighting since early morning to get a food handout. Hunger and desperation, it's an explosive mix with a short fuse. I've got seven kids and they're all dying of thirst. They've got no strength to even stand up anymore, she says. Getting food and water to the needy in Gonaive has become a military operation. United Nations troops from Argentina ride down to port aboard armoured gun trucks to protect a new arrival of relief supplies. The kids may be friendly, but these soldiers know chaos is just around the corner. Some of these people haven't eaten in three or four days, and so there's a lot of desperation. That's why the aid has to be delivered under armed guard, he tells us. For the last few days, aid agencies have sidestepped angry crowds and distributed supplies before dawn. But this US Navy landing craft has just docked with much needed rice and cooking oil. Supplies that must be delivered, even though it means a risky daylight distribution run. A real humbling experience. You know, I think everybody needs to uh, kind of take part in it and you know, see how other people less fortunate than ourselves, how, how they live. Back at the food line, there's just not enough to go around. Today's have-nots are held back with rolls of razor wire. Among the lucky few, the hope of having food on the table tonight is enough to make this young boy lick his lips. After hours under the blazing sun, women collect a sack of rice, a gallon of oil and a few pounds of beans. Thank God I managed to get this food, even though it's been a huge stress and it's been really difficult to get it, she says. But they can't wait any longer. As you can see, things are threatening. Things are threatening to get out of control right now. And it's all that the UN peacekeepers can do to keep these people back and stop a full-scale riot. Women squeeze through the gaps. Troops push back with riot shields. Another girl collapses into the razor wire. Hers are the screams of Haiti's latest humanitarian disaster. Carl Penhall, CNN, Gonaive, Haiti.